Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. We're going to be covering the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this game, you're looking at Cincinnati. You like how they closed off the New York football giants. You like how they played their game of football. They continuously tried to run the football even when the pass game wasn't working. They dealt with a different style because that defense for the giants was stopping them from going deep, was stopping them from having big plays. They did have a hiccup and allow Joe Burrow to run that 50 plus yard run. But besides that, they were making it tough for the Bengals all game long. They played T, T. Higgins well. They played Jamar Chase well, doubling, tripling, and shadowing them everywhere they went. Now they have a game that's going to be a little bit easier against the Cleveland Browns team. A Browns team that held the Philadelphia Eagles to a season low as far as points. And you're looking at just, you know, from the standpoint of Cleveland, Deshaun Watson is the problem. They can't convert on third down. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if it's in his head. I don't know if he's just not confident. I don't know if he's just not uh, uh, filling the, the scheme or the regime. But at this point, Deshaun Watson is a liability. I don't know how long, how long they're going to play him. But the Cincinnati Bengals need to understand the, the, the point of the focus in the moment. The Bengals defense played well against the Giants. They uh, gave pressure. They did things to get sacks. They did things to get pressure. And I'm talking about stunting. I'm talking about delayed blitzes. I'm talking about bringing corners. So therefore, and against the Cleveland Browns, ratchet up that aggressiveness. Ratchet up that and get Deshaun Watson rattled early so he can start throwing turnovers, uh, interceptions, and fumbling the ball. From the standpoint, you have the better quarterback in Joe Burrow. You have the better wide receivers as far as T. Higgins being healthy and Jamar Chase. You just have to actually get them open and, and get the ball down the field. I like the fact that the Bengals are trying to run the football. They're trying to not only send a message, to, hey, we can still run the football. Our offense is still formidable. They just have to actually do it. When Joe Burrow is spinning the ball like we've seen him do the last couple of weeks, it's possible. But he can't fall into the same trap he did against the Giants. He can't force the ball in certain places. <clears throat> yes, in certain times you can force the ball Jamar Chase, but not every single drive. That's why you have a number two receiver. That's why you have a number three receiver. That's why you have a tight end or running back that you can leak the ball out to when he gets pressure situations. So I'm expecting the Bengals to win this one. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I don't think it's going to be a lot of points. But I think the, the defense for the Browns is still respectable. I don't think they're going to have Nick Chubb back for this one. So they're still not going to be able to run the football. Najoku will is back. Um, he did play. Amari Cooper is doing his thing and Jerry Judy too. So it's the Browns' offense sequence, and it's their lack of timing. It's their lack of uh, uh, actually executing on the field that's holding them back. And Deshaun Watson is a big part of that. So, all you Browns fans, get in the comment section. I'm sorry, but y'all are going to lose. The Bengals, too. Get in the comment section. I'm picking you guys to win. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you in the next episode.